Okay, today we're gonna to be doing the finishing stitch on this keychain. Um, the reason why you would you want to do a finishing stitch is it's a little braided edge that will go on the edge of your keychain, belt, dog collar. It's a it's a reinforced protective edge. This was a canvas where they just simply rolled over the needle point. They did extra rows and rolled over the needle point. And what happens is you have exposed canvas and your needle point will eventually wear off and your canvas will tear and your project won't last as long. This keychain's about three years old. So, you always wanna start at the top left-hand corner. And I'm gonna move very slowly so that you can follow along with me. You always wanna anchor your thread down in the back. You're gonna come up through the top row, just like if you were doing another row. Uh, we see sometimes people have gone down into their needle point and done the finishing stitch. You do not wanna do that. So come up the very top. You're gonna fold your canvas over where there's one hole laying empty on the top. You'll never stitch through that hole. To start out, you just go straight through. And remember, you're going from the back to the front. You're used to working from the front of the canvas, but with the finishing stitch, you're going from the back to the front. So just pull it straight through. There's two steps to the finishing stitch. It's always your next empty stitch, thread over your needle, and now it's back three. You count the one, you just did as one, two, and the third one straight across, not at an angle anymore. Next empty stitch, there's something in that one, so go to your completely empty one. And remember, thread over top of your needle. If you don't do that, this is what happens. So if that happens, just run your needle through. So we did the empty one, so now it's back three. Count the, the one you just did as one, two, and the third one. Next empty stitch, back three. Next empty stitch, back three. Just those two things. Very, very easy, very easy. So let's say we've used all this thread and we need to end a strand. You always wanna end on your next empty stitch. It's your next empty stitch. Think about your whole stitch. So when you end it, go down through the back. Anchor underneath a couple of strands. Trim it off as close as possible. And when you stitch and before leathering, you really want to have this neat and clean so that the leather can apply the, the glue and then it's stitched onto the canvas. And with a bunch of ends, it, it's very hard for that to lay flat on leather. So trim all your ends off. Okay. So anchor your thread. Okay, where you ended through the back, think about your whole stitch. So your, your, your next empty stitch would go there. So when you start a strand, you'll come up through the front. You're ending in the back, coming up through the front, complete your whole empty stitch. Okay, refold it back over, and now you're ready to go back three. Count the one you just did as one, two, three. Empty one, back three. And so you can tell how it's forming that braid. Pretty easy. Um, you'll finish the top. You won't do anything to the two sides, just the top and the bottom. When you start the bottom, 
you'll flip your canvas upside down, always working from left to right. If you have any questions, call the shop. We're more than happy to go over this or send you step-by-step -step instructions.